So I watched the Cat Williams and Willie D interview because I wanted to see what was going to be the difference between his interview with he, with Willie D versus his interview with Shannon Sharp. And I must say that he wasn't as brazen as he was on Shannon Sharp's podcast, but he discussed a lot of the same stories and he elaborated a little more on his upbringing and things like that. But it was basically a calmer version of the Club Shay Shay interview. There was definitely a reason for that. And I think the people who pay attention and the people who are smart and privy to what actually goes on behind the scenes and in Hollywood, they can put the pieces together and figure out why he took that approach with the Shannon Sharp interview. What you must understand about what Cat Williams was saying about his fellow comedians, I don't think it's a personal attack against them specifically. I think it's more of an attack on Hollywood. But once again, the people choose to listen to the subject matter and pick apart what he says about these people individually versus what he's really trying to do, which is expose and acknowledge the fact that the people behind the scenes are the ones pulling all the strings and making these people who and what they are and making them do the things that they have done in order to get where they have gotten. And it is definitely unfair to the more talented people. And when you wonder why the people that are the most talented don't make it as far as the mediocre people is because the mediocre people, they know that they have to do more or they have to do what they're told in order to continue to make it or to make it at all. So when you wonder why people that aren't that great are in situations where you feel as though there are people better than them that should be there, that is why. Most people who know they are better know that they better not do certain things or they just don't want to do certain things. So they stay within their realm of comfortability And they don't pursue certain roles or certain circles because they know what comes along with it. Cat Williams is an intellectual and you have to be on his level of thinking to understand where he's going at with a lot of the things that he says and does. And because the people that he's up against know how smart he is. They know that they have to ruin his credibility by saying drugs and saying, you know, look at how many times he's been to jail and he's a jailbird. Not knowing that going to jail is something that can happen to anybody. Like anybody can end up in jail. I don't care how smart of a person you are, how great of a person you are, how much education you have. Jail can happen to anyone. So I think it's kind of a little cheesy to write somebody off because they've been to jail, because you can go to jail all night long. But just because you go to jail don't mean that, number one, you're guilty. And it also doesn't mean that you're going to get in trouble and serve time. Using drugs doesn't mean that you're not smart as well, because Like Cat Williams mentioned in the Willie D interview, the reason why he didn't do drugs is because of the people that he encountered during the course of his life and how they were these great people. They had these high power jobs and because they indulged in such behavior, it ruined their life and made them end up on the street and whatever have you. So that was his reasoning behind never getting involved in drugs. And people will still say that, oh, this person is on drugs. 
that is such a weak defense. And I'm sorry, but people need to do a little bit more for me to not use my own brain in regards to believing somebody just because they've either had a stint with drugs or they've been to jail. That's not enough for me because depending on where you're from, you're going to encounter tons of people who use drugs and tons of people who've been to jail. And that's just simply not enough to discredit somebody. Even calling somebody crazy. I haven't met a crazy person yet that hasn't told me the truth. So I cannot fall for that either. And I can't side with that being a form of defense either. Like we have to do better as a people. But what do y'all think about the Willie D interview? If you watched it, I feel as though it kind of like wasn't needed because that first interview did all that it needed to do. But if he's doing press and stuff like that for his upcoming shows and stuff like that, I get it. But I feel like that first three hour interview worked as hard as it possibly could for what he's going to do in the future. I feel like everybody's going to be following his next couple of moves for quite a while after this interview.